So I'm recording this from Leander, Texas, north of Austin. It's 7.15 a.m. in the morning, November 10th. I just completed taking pictures of Comet 3i. It came in the morning around like 5.24, where we could see that with the telescope. And I think I got a better number of pictures now today, almost close to 30 plus pictures. I took actually one minute exposures because it's dark enough. There are several interesting things that I noticed when I was taking pictures. Against the stars, the Comet 3 Atlas is actually moving really fast. You can see that very clearly. Uh, I've been taking pictures of comets. It doesn't move in the time lapse that quickly within that one hour time frame or 30 minutes time frame. And this one, you can visibly see it's actually going faster. Uh, there is still some coma around it, but I felt the coma is a bit less compared to before. And it seems like it is going uh, faster. That's what at least I can see. It is brighter than before. I'm not yeah. sure if it went down to magnitude nine. That's how it feels like. It can, you can still see the brightness now compared to last couple of days. It's very interesting to watch. A uh, lot of people are asking me to take pictures of the V1 Borisov. I could not get to it, but there is a companion comet. I saw it in the morning, K1 Atlas. And that one, I took a couple of pictures. I'm going to show you that one. So thank you very much, the YouTuber from Germany, uh, LP Indy. Thank you very much for recommending the channel. So please subscribe to my channel and click on the notifications. So when I go live or I post a new video, you get all the updates of the astronomy updates, Comet 3A Atlas updates. Let me quickly show you what I got. So I wanted to show you this comet. This is Comet K1 Atlas. This is not interstellar comet. This is within our solar system. It was discovered back in May of this year. It's also relatively a new comet, but it is in the morning time when the Comet Atlas is coming up. 3A Atlas is coming up at around 5.30. This one shows up an hour before that, and it is bright enough. It has the closest approach to the sun back in October, and now it is actually going back to the Oort cloud. So this is within our solar system. It happened to be that this is in the vicinity of the 3A Atlas. I just took one picture of that. If you are interested, please let me know. I'll take more pictures of this comet, and I will show you the the, the orbit of this comet and how this comet is moving, please do let me know in the comment section. Now let's go to the comet pictures that I took for the 3A Atlas. So I started uh, pretty early in the morning and I started taking pictures of this comet. It is getting or uh, coming um, higher into the sky a bit early in the morning, like around five, Around 5.25, uh, you should, we should be able to see this comet. It is getting bright, uh, maybe around magnitude 9. That's how I felt. Not very bright, but it is definitely a lot brighter than 3-4 days ago. And I took 60 second exposures comfortably because there is no moon around. And I'm able to take longer exposures on this comet. And it is showing up pretty bright. Not only it is showing up bright, but it's also moving faster. Let me show you. So this is the comet that you are seeing on the screen. And there are two tiny stars out there. They started getting visible as soon as this comet was there. So I was thinking, is this part of the comet or those stars? So I was kind of curiously waiting for this comet to be separated from the stars. So as I started moving, and this comet is moving quite fast. Very interesting. So in my previous comet captures, comet does move, but this seems definitely moving a lot faster in front of the stars.
I'm trying to zoom in to see how the comet is moving. I know I can see a bit of a coma around it, a little bit, not a whole lot, but it is kind of moving past this side, right? You can see that. So I thought it's moving very interestingly. So why don't I uh, invert this picture? Like almost like seeing an X-ray. I compared this coma from the previous pictures. Previous pictures got more halo around it. But this one has a bit of a less halo, but it does like rotate and moves around, right? Do you see that? It has that things that are glowing around it and it is going like that, right? It's kind of very interesting movement of this comet. I, I can center it and zoom in further. I hope you can see the halo if you are watching it on the cell phone. It has a little bit of things that are going around and it is going like that. The reason I looked at this was I compared this with the... This today is November 10th. I took the same pictures on November 7th. On November 7th, there was a lot more halo. It's very interesting that there is a lot more coma on the November 7th. I'll show you the November 10th again. You can clearly see the coma on the left, November 7th, is a lot more than today, November 10th on the right. Please do click on the subscribe button and the notifications button. I have more updates on the Comet 3A Atlas coming. Thank you everyone for watching. Clear skies.